Hello everybody, this is Brisbane05 Blast here and welcome back to another video of this channel. Today, we're actually gonna do one of the derbies that many people have been waiting for so long. Since me and Neil actually were discussing about that match, we were supposed to do that in the FIFA 22. But unfortunately, since FIFA 22 is actually not there, it's already out of the system. That means we cannot do that in the FIFA 22, but rather put it in the FIFA 18 gameplay. That's right, I already told you the FIFA, what FIFA we're doing. But at least, I I am giving you a hint so you will know what it is. It's the Melbourne Derby. Melbourne Victory versus Melbourne City. On FIFA 18 gameplay. And, like as always, we have Rana with us. Hi! It is me! Yeah. And, um... Melbourne Victory and Melbourne Derby are two good teams, so I don't know what to choose, which one. I am going, just by 1%, I am going for Melbourne City. So yeah, it was like 50-50, then 49-51 and so, yeah. Yeah, Melbourne Victory and City are basically like two teams in the Australian franchise, so it's pretty hard to see who will, who will prevail. And yeah, so just to let you know, we actually don't have a stadium to pick for Melbourne Victory because since FIFA FIFA does not is not famous for Australian stadiums, we actually put it in a Western Bromwich Albion Stadium. That is the Hawthorns. I'm pretty sure you may not know what the stadium is. The Hawthorns is actually the stadium in Western Bromwich Albion. I've actually picked a stadium there for those two classic teams to verse each other because... You know, makes it easy for them. And yeah, so I really hope you enjoy this as we move to the Hawthorns for an epic clash and an epic encounter as we await for this game. And please make sure to like and subscribe because still at 24 subscribers, yet to reach 30 subscribers. As long as you, we keep on working hard, it will mean so much for me. So right, so hope... Hope you guys subscribe to my channel and yeah, let's get headed to the stadium where me, that means of course, I'll be of course always commenta commentating. So yeah, so yeah, let's get into the stadium. No words to say. Welcome to you all. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith is with me as always. We'll try not to make any slips in the commentary, but there might be some slips out on the pitch, Alan, in these wet conditions. Yeah, and uh, I don't think it's going to stop during the course of the match, so... I don't think it's going to affect the game in any way in terms of calling it off, but it might get very wet for the players. All right, guys, we have two I teams. Don't about the Hawthorns, the highest stadium in England, which is a relatively flat country, <laughs> but it, uh, it certainly has its own rarefied atmosphere, shall we say? Always got a good welcome here. The Balti pies are marvellous in the press room. The proper black country welcome. And it's a, it's a nice, tidy, compact ground. Graham Bovrik is the referee today. Alright, so what I was actually going to say, we're actually headed to one of the classic derbies we've ever seen. The Melbourne Derby. And it's Melbourne victory against Melbourne City. The two, two Melbourne teams looking for victories. I was thinking of actually putting this in FIFA 22, but since FIFA 22 was actually not there, I actually decided to put it in this gameplay. And yeah, we're back to FIFA 18. It took a while to get a FIFA 18 gameplay, but here it is. Lots of talk about this match. Great build up. Let's hope we get a great game. It's now just started. All right. Cut out the pass. Intercepting, if you like. And now can go on the attack, maybe. All right, here's Carmel. Pass it to Cahill. Here's Tim Cahill. He passed it to one of the players, but unfortunately for Melbourne City, he was offside. So, you may actually think that why I put Melbourne Victory as the home team. Yeah, to be honest, Melbourne Victory is actually an original Melbourne team. And City, Melbourne City FC is actually the second Melbourne team, I think. So yeah, the second Victorian team. And now we have, I think, four Victorian teams playing in football. It's what you do when you get the ball that really counts and they're trying to make the most of that turnover in play. 
Now Bruno Federoli with the ball passed it to Fitzgerald. Then he passed it to Camo. To be honest, this is actually a second A-League game I've actually ever recorded. Alright, Cahill has the ball. What can he do? Tim Cahill. He's a good player here, a good Australian player. Let's see what he can do. He has joined many English teams. But let's see what he can do here for Melbourne City. He's my player to watch here, Tim Cahill. Oh wait, but Melbourne City still have the ball. Kilkenny has the ball for Melbourne City. But victory, victory with a good tackle. Melbourne victory. They have good players, but not as good as City. City, Melbourne City FC has outstanding players. To be honest, Melbourne City is like the Australian Real Madrid to me, if you know what I mean. Because they have good players like Tim Cahill. But Victory looking for a chance to score. Oh! I thought that could have been an unlucky shot from this player, Costa Barbarossas. But luck was within him. It actually bounced. It had a good bounce on him. We thought it was actually... The bounce was actually against him, but it was actually with him. That is crazy. And, that has opened the scoring. One and with that, victory takes the early lead here. But still, that's just on one goal. Well read by the player in that, part of the pitch. that is just one goal. There will be more action coming up. Going to be a throw here. Victory has the ball. He passes all the way to Williams. Then he passes it to Valerie. Then to Troisi. Then to Milligan. Berisha, Valerie. So many passings they have to do here. He wants to play on the shoulder of the last defender. He's just got to get it right. It's all about timing. Yeah. Offsides keep on piling up here. But now a good thing is that Melbourne City have the ball. Because this could really get too ugly for those teams here. The Melbourne, the classic Melbourne Derby here. What a game here we are going to witness. If Melbourne City scores this one, this could be the greatest here. But still. Bruno Forerly has the ball. Pass it to Schenkvild. Schenkvild, then to Killini. Kilkenny, then Moke, and then Funaroli, but nah, good tackle. So sorry I actually started up because it's pretty hard when a person's combinating. Wait, wait. This could be a good chance. This could be a good chance, but nah, victory. Too easy for victory to get this one. But still, Melbourne City are just putting up a good fight here. Melbourne City cannot really admit defeat because of their good players they have. This could potentially be, I think, the... Because Victory, I know they were like the first Melbourne team. But they're not as outclassed as Melbourne City. To be honest. Victory was the first Melbourne team. Then came Melbourne City. But it was originally called Melbourne Hearts. But they renamed it as City. Oh! That was another off the post shot. But this time... Luck... I told you luck is within Victory here. Melbourne City... Gets a goal. And who else? Jacobson. He scores a goal for Melbourne City. What a goal, mate. This could literally get up to the down to the wire, man. I have a feeling this is gonna be like third and fourth in a row actually, because uh Chelsea AC Milan, then Chelsea Man United. Oh, wait, this could be easy. No! How he has not scored that? Now, finally, they scored it. But I was surprised that how they haven't scored that in the first attempt. Luckily, it was a goal, though. I would actually be surprised if they wouldn't have scored this one. I'm so surprised, man. Second goal already for victory here. 
This is going to be a high scoring game. But still, City have, I think, one opportunity, but too bad the siren called. Alright, so yeah, Melbourne City 2 1 up. Sorry, sorry about the copyright music here. Oh, we just need to stop this for a while. We'll be back for the second half. Sorry about that, about the copyright music. But as you already saw, the shots were even. I think there were like four shots for victory and I think three shots for city. But we probably will find out in the second half to see who will prevail. And victory has won a foul here. And now they have a chance to make it a two goal lead. What can they do? But City with a good clearance. And Victory should have actually let that go. But instead he played on it. But still Victory would be happy in during the first half because of the coach. The coach is very happy about Victory's performance. They just need to push more effort. And that then they'll get the glory. But City on the other hand, they need to push hard if they want to win. Alright. City looking for a second goal that could put them again in equalizer. City look at Fitzgerald, passed it to Cahill. Cahill passed it to Fenaroli. Fenaroli to Mauk. Fenaroli. Cahill. But he's offside. That that was a way that was like nightmare for City here. That could have been like an opportunity for City, but Cahill was offside. Melbourne City looking for maybe for possible chances here because they they need to get get higher and up in this game. But still, anything can happen here. Melbourne City just need to put effort here, and that's how they'll get the second goal. Unless a victory could probably go for for the finishing goal, the the insurance goal. But City with a good clearance. And I think we have a substitution from Victory, and it's Austin. Look at Victory, look at the skill from Thea Rose, the sub player, and Sanchez. And another clearance from City. They're just going defense, they need to start building pressure here. And that's what they needed. Now City needs to find a way here. They need to find a way. They kind of look like Manchester City, if you know what I mean. Here's Kamau. Kamau with a good skill here. Pass it to Fenaroli. Now they're in the victories. I think half. What do you mean to say? Fenaroli tries to skill the player. Pass it to Schenkeveld. Now Schenkeveld needs to find good pass. Pass it to Cahill. Leave it to this man. Oh, chance wasted here from City. What a chance that was for an equalizer, but just wasted. Because of course they're losing and they have so much pressure. But still, we don't know who's actually going to win this one. Here's a chance to move forward from midfield after that interception. All right, City looking for the for their only option that is getting the second goal but victory has other plans. They have like opportunities to end the game. But Fonaroli decides we're not going to give up here. Pass it to Fitzgerald. Alright, Fonaroli. So Man, City's like, they're very serious about this equalizing goal. But unfortunately for them, it's just off target. So far, but he's going to make a substitution here 
just to uh, hope that he can retain this lead. All right. Time is ticking away. I have a feeling Victory is going to win this one, but we don't know. On the clock, eight more minutes. Okay, good interception. Good interception. Wait for Naroli. Kamal. All right, Kamal needs to get a good pass here. Pass it to Cahill. Cahill needs to do something. Pass it to Arzani, but nah. I have a feeling this is probably going to be game over here. Because victory probably might kill time. Or even better, they might find, probably go for, for their insurance goal. Wait. I think it's game over. It's game over, yep. But what a game that is. What a game that is. Melbourne victory. Victorious in the classic Melbourne Derby. And unfortunately for Melbourne City, they put everything to get themselves in front or even try to get an equalizing goal, but still, wasn't enough for them. But congratulations to Melbourne victory for winning this video as they are now in the winner's circle. Those two players congratulate for their efforts and they are probably going to walk off, walk off from the stadium happy or sad. Alright, just need to mute this. There we go. So yeah, Earl Thomas, I think, was a goalkeeper. Then Barbarossis was lucky because of that shot they made. Thomas with a save. Another half the post, but a corner kick from City. Jacobson with an equalizing goal. Then Troisi. Troisi with a goal. And yup, he scored. And now Kilkenny. I think he probably fouled the player. Then Kamau had a chance. What a miss from him. And then Bruno Fanaroli. Another miss from him. And that was all today we have. That's all the game she wrote. And yep. There are the highlights here. And as you can see, look at those shots. They're all even sided. Melbourne victory 5 shots, City 5 shots, and yeah, that's all we have for today's game. And hope you guys enjoy this one, and we will be back for another FIFA gameplay. Goodbye. Hi guys, we're back, and I really don't know what to say here. We have witnessed one of the odd derby clashes we've ever seen. And yes, I know people in the comments might say, why... This is like the worst derby clashes we've ever seen. And everyone, everyone thought that Melbourne City could have actually won. Yeah, I already gave out. It's actually victory. Melbourne victory actually were the winners. But I'll actually tell you the full info here. Melbourne victory actually... I know Melbourne victory was like the first Melbourne team as they came around in 2007. 2005 or 7. Whereas Melbourne City originally called as Melbourne Hearts came in 2012-2013. I know they were the second Melbourne team, but some people said that second Melbourne team, that is Melbourne City FC, they were like dominant against Melbourne Victory for over years, man. And they lost to Melbourne Victory by just 2-1, the scoreline. 2-1. Two, two, and yeah, Random is going to say something, and yeah, let's see what his words are. I voted for Melbourne City, and it went to Melbourne Victory by just one goal. I don't know why. Yeah. It's basically one of the worst derby clashes we've ever seen. And the reason why I'm saying this is because two goals of Melbourne victory were basically just luck. Luck. I can't believe it. Two goals from victory were just luck. And one goal from Melbourne City was just pure skill. Everyone thought that Melbourne City was actually going to win this one. But unfortunately, it was victory. And... I have to argue about this because Melbourne City could have actually won this one. But fair is fair though because Melbourne victory have to be in the winner's circle because I had to allow that. And I don't know because some people may not, if they don't like it, then what's the point making it? At least you like it so far. You like the experience. So I would at least 
give it to you that. But anyways, Melbourne Victory are today's winner and that's all we have for today. Hope you really enjoyed this video and later on I'll provide some more FIFA videos. Please share a like and subscribe to my channel as it means a lot to me. And yeah, this is Brisbane05Blaster with Random right besides me. Astala Pista, signing off.